Good morning. Our entrance is number 82. 82. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him room, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and heaven and nature sing. salvation that's been given us in Christ. We call to mind, too, the times we have sinned, and so prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. of this world by the coming of your light, look, we pray, with serene countenance upon us, that we may acclaim with fitting praise the greatness of the nativity of your only begotten Son. 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. reading from the first letter of St. John. <clears throat> Beloved, the way that we may be sure that we know Jesus is to keep his commandments. Whoever says, I know him, but does not keep his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whoever keeps his word, the love of God is truly perfected in him. This is the way that we may know that we are, we are in union with him. Whoever claims to abide in him ought to walk just as he walked. Beloved, I am writing no new commandment to you, but an old commandment that you have had from the beginning. The old commandment is the word that you have heard. And yet, I do write a new commandment to you, which holds true in him and among you. For the darkness is passing away, and the true light is already shining. Whoever says that he is in the light, yet hates his brother, is still in the darkness. Whoever loves his brother remains in the light, and there is nothing in him to cause a fall. Whoever hates his brother is in darkness, and he walks in darkness, and does not know where he is going, because the darkness has blinded his eyes. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let the heavens be glad, and the earth rejoice. Let the heavens be glad, and the earth rejoice. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all you lands. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations. Among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. The Lord made the heavens, splendor and majesty go before him. Praise and grandeur are in his sanctuary. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Present him to the Lord, just as it is written in the law of the Lord. Every male that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord, and to offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons, in accordance with the dictate of the law of the Lord. 
Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. The man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Christ of the Lord. He came in the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, he took him into his arms and blessed God, saying, Lord, now you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. The child's father and mother were amazed at what was said about him. And Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be contradicted. And you yourself, a sword will pierce, so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. The Gospel of the Lord. Because of where this festival of Christmas falls, at least in our part of the world, you know, light and darkness is something that we're, we're very in tune with, very familiar with. Now, I think, what was it, uh, December 23rd was the winter solstice or something along the lines. So all of a sudden, days have started to get a little longer. They were starting to get shorter up to that point. But we were well aware that, oh, geez, it's, it's dark out. Or, oh, geez, look, the sun's out. We're in tune with that. And so it should come as no surprise that that image, that image that we hear not only in that first reading, but throughout really the Gospels of Jesus' light and darkness, is an image that has profound spiritual meaning for us. I mean, just think about it, how, how the light brings some sense of comfort, security, warmth. Um, we're able to observe things that prior to that in the darkness we could not. It brings all the things that we're accustomed to. We're able to move about freely. Yet darkness, we're a little apprehensive. We might even be a little fearful. There's also been studies that have been shown that with the, the darker times of the year, individuals do fall into some sense of despair, if you will. We need the light. Jesus is the light that we need. He came into the temple, was presented in the temple, and when we gather day in and day out, Sunday after Sunday, he comes into our temple, is presented to us in this temple. May we receive him as Simeon did, with, with an act of thanksgiving and an act of praise, and know that our consolation is here. Jesus has come and dwells with us. With our hearts illumined by faith in Jesus Christ, we raise our voice in prayer. For the church, may Christ continue to illuminate her path to unity throughout the world, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer for political leaders of every nation. May the humble birth of Jesus inspire a renewed commitment to peace building and to justice. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those suffering or burdened with difficulty, may the hope found in the Lord's faithfulness and promise 
bring them consolation and joy. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For those assembled here, may the Holy Spirit guide us in becoming an ever more forgiving and gracious people. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick and the suffering, especially John Caterino, Bob Christian, Mary Damacone, Danny Firth, Mike Firth, Deja Furtney, Jeffra, Jeffrey Grisner, Dan Lane, Tom and Nor Can Candy Lorkowski, Sister Marcia Madigan, Becky Mishler, Agnes Moran, Dora <coughs> Petrochi, Maggie Wright, Brooke Russell, Carol Scaley, Katrina Schunk, Paula Simmons, John Van Gutten, Bob Wakeman, Lou Wells, Clara Whitus, and Pope Emetus Benedict. For the victims and the survivors of abuse in our church and beyond, for accountability, justice, and healing throughout our church, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. <clears throat> for those who have died, may the Lord shine his face upon them and grant them eternal peace. And for those who have recently died, Robert McNeil and Phyllis Durick and Joe Bacco. We pray especially this morning for Dee Tronic, for whom this Mass is being offered. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions that remain deep in the silence of our hearts and our minds, for those written in our prayer notes book, and for those that we have been asked to pray for through our Renewal Recommitment Initiative, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Ever faithful God, hear us as we pray in the name of your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual gift. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We give you praise, Father most holy, for your great and you have fashioned all your works in wisdom and in love. Before man in your own image, and entrusted the whole world to his care, so that in serving you alone, the Creator, he might have dominion over all creatures. And when through disobedience he had lost your friendship, you did not abandon him to the domain of death. For you came in mercy to the aid of all, so that those who seek might find you. Time and again you offered them covenants, and through the prophets taught them to look forward to salvation. And you so loved the world, Father most holy, that in the fullness of time you sent your only begotten Son to be our Savior, made incarnate by the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin Mary. He shared our human nature in all things but sin. To the poor he proclaimed the good news of salvation, to prisoners freedom and to the sorrowful of heart joy. To accomplish your plan, he gave himself up to death, and rising from the dead, he destroyed death and restored life. And that we might live no longer for ourselves, but for him who died and rose again for us. He sent the Holy Spirit from you, Father, as the first fruits for those who believe, so that bringing to perfection his work in the world, he might sanctify creation to the full. Therefore, O Lord, we pray, may this same Holy Spirit graciously sanctify these offerings, that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, for the celebration of this great mystery, which he himself left us as an eternal covenant. For 
For when the hour had come for him to be glorified by you, Father most holy, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. And while they were at supper, he took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, taking the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, he gave thanks and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of our redemption, we remember Christ's death and his descent to the realm of the dead. We proclaim his resurrection and his ascension to your right hand. And as we await his coming in glory, we offer you his body and blood, the sacrifice acceptable to you, which brings salvation to the whole world. Look, O Lord, upon the sacrifice which you yourself have provided for your church, and grant in your loving kindness to all who partake of this one bread and one chalice, that gathered into one body by the Holy Spirit, they may truly become a living sacrifice in Christ, to the praise of your glory. Therefore, Lord, remember now all for whom we offer this sacrifice, especially your servant Francis, our Pope, Edward, our Bishop, and the whole order of bishops, all the clergy, those who take part in this offering, those gathered here before you, your entire people, and all who seek you with a sincere heart. Remember also those who have died in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. To all of us, your children, grant, O merciful Father, that we may enter into a heavenly inheritance with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and with your apostles and saints in your kingdom. There with the whole of creation, freed from the corruption of sin and death, may we glorify you through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer to each other the sign of peace. takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Through the tender mercy of our God, the dawn from on high will visit us. Our communion chant is number seven, eight, night of 
body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that by the power of these holy mysteries, our life may be constantly sustained through Christ our Lord. Just a reminder that in observance of the Feast of the Holy Family, which happens to fall tomorrow on the Sunday of the weekend, there will be an 8.30 a.m. morning Mass tomorrow morning. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks. Our closing is number 82, verse 3. He rules the world with truth and grace and makes the nations prove the glories of his righteousness and wonders of his love and wonders of his love and wonders